Hey guys, it's Abyssal here, and welcome to Cypheus Reborn, or whatever this is. I saw it as a new release, or I didn't see it, but my girlfriend saw it, and she said I should play it. So I'm gonna play it, and we're gonna do stuff. Yeah. Nothing existed. Wait, I didn't get to read that. I can never know how it began. I found myself in the cave. Eventually, I began to sense a faint light at the far end of the cave. This alone gave me a reason to go uh, to go forward. The unshakable hope of escape of free of escape of freedom. What the fuck is happening? Left click, move, interact. Right click, examine. Click to close message. Press escape key for save. Load quit menu. Um. Water. What is this? Rocks. Pile of large rocks that looks like part of the cave formations must have collapsed a long time ago as the rocks have become smooth and round. Can I examine the water? No? Okay. Uh, wait, what? I can't fit through the gap and somehow the cave is so narrow that I can't move sideways at all. That's weird. There's a thing over here. Right? I saw a thing. This one has almost joined above it. Need to find a way to get through. Uh huh. Okay. Can I grab one of these Rockies? Heavy. I don't want to carry one around with me unless I really need it. Well, yeah, I really need it. Grab one. How do I carry one of these fuckers? Because I could use it to break the thing. Right? You have some form, or some form of liquid seems to be dripping from the roof. Interesting. Hmm. I'll probably skip ahead until I figure out what the fuck I'm supposed to do. Small crack in it, I might be able to break it off. Okay, there we go. Now I gotta grab a rock, I think. Let's go over there, fucker. Go. Grab one of these fucks. Yeah. Select items in the top left to use. Right click to cancel. Okay. Oh, bam. Oh, damn. There we go. Moving forward. Um, do I leave? I do. There's a faint light glowing up ahead. Can I use the arrow keys? Kind of. It's a little, it's a little wonky. This cave is closed off on both ends. How on earth did I end up in here? There's a small hole in the cave wall. Looks like the flow of water has gradually worn away on the rock. At the rock. Water is cool and seems to glow slightly in the gloom. I don't feel at all thirsty, though. Or hungry, for that matter. Am I a ghosty goo? The hole and the wall over there. Water. Doesn't seem to overflow. Must drain somewhere. Hmm. Interesting. Can I go downwards? Almost well, too small for me to fit through. Looks like the only way out, though. Perhaps I can break away some of the rock. 
could use that piece of like that I broke off. Ooh, yeah. All right, good idea. I didn't even think of that. Let's go back and grab that thing. You, give me. Alrighty. Go on. And then if I use this fucker in the hole, some of this weakened rock. After some time, pieces of the cave wall fall away, and a flood of white light fills the cave. It is so bright that the outside world is barely disconcernable. Or discernible. Disconcernable. What? Whoa! The outside world is so bright I can't see anything at all. The hole is now large enough to fit through. A vast desert sprawls out beyond the limits of sight. The air is so saturated with heat that the entire landscape appears to be shifting. Whoa. The grass feels quite tough. I suppose it would need to be to withstand the extreme heat. Interesting. It's the cave. Tree. Strange looking trees. They are solid and seem almost petrified. I can't tell if they are living or dead. Huh. A hole in the ground that explains the piles of sand. I mean, the pilers of sand. The piles of sand explain the holes. Sand isn't as solid as it looks. Trying to climb it would just pull. It. Okay, we'll just pull it down. Who, where, and who are you? I am me. Doesn't help me at all. Can't, be more, can't you be more specific? I am me. Very well. I see this is going nowhere. Where? We are here. What is this place? This is the place where we dig. Why do you dig? We dig to live. Okay. You keep digging to live, friend. You and your holes. More trees. Fucking giant hole. Another digger. Can't get a straight answer out of the person over there. I can't get a straight answer out of the person over there. Can you tell me what is going on here? I cannot help you. You'll need to ask someone else. Please? I just need to know where I am. What is this place? I cannot help you. You need to ask someone else. You don't seem to say anything else. Are you able to say anything else at all? Nope. Okay. Well, fuck you too, though. rock pile. These stones are quite flat. I don't want to carry one, though. And that's why I tight some smash around here. Where am I? You are here. Where is here? Here is where you are. What are you doing? We are digging. Why are you digging? We dig to make mountains. Why do you make mountains? You make mountains to fill in holes. Ah. Uh, that seems very contradictory. Particularly deep. What on earth is happening? Hey, the phone's ringing. I don't suppose you can tell me anything about this place. I can tell you about digging. Very well, please tell me about digging. We dig to live. Why live? We live to dig. I see. Is there anyone else who might know something besides digging? Digging is all we know. You may try asking the pyramid. A 
pyramid? You mean that mound of sand behind you? No, there's a shining pyramid out in the desert. I have asked it questions, and I always receive the same answer. I do not understand the answer, but it makes me feel calm. I suppose I will seek out this shining pyramid then. How do I find it? Travel through the desert and walk over the hill with the long, with the long lone tree. Not long tree. Okay. Um, I'm very confused. I I don't know if it should be over the hill in this direction. Okay. Um. Oh, those are bells. I thought that was something completely different. Pyramid. Surface is quite rough to the touch. I can't find any markings on it. Sounds like bells are playing inside. I have to same I think I have to play the same tone. What was that say? Said something. Hmm. Well, this is gonna be fun. friend solved it for me because I'm an idiot. I'm just really good at puzzle games. And that one was a little weird because it doesn't like show you which bell is which. It just kind of makes you look confused. So that one's kind of dumb. The inside of the pyramid seems to be quite dim. The walls must be very thick to keep out the harsh sunlight. Hopefully I can get some answers in here. Um... Who? Question so many. Why you? Obviously not me, because I didn't play the pattern, right?
my. This is interesting. Sorry, I didn't read any of that. I just, I was absorbed. Um. Uh. Unable to move at all. Eventually, I believe, you're no longer aware of anything at all. Such is the fate of those that choose nothing. I would not wish this on anyone. I suggest you choose to dig. Why do they all grow up, up together like that? I do not know. I have seen it happen with many. They simply give up the will to continue living and come join a group like this to cease to be. Okay. Perhaps they feel a stronger purpose, treading a path that is laid before them by others. Perhaps this non-existence feels like it has meaning when chosen by, with many others. There are many groups like this scattered throughout the desert. It is not as much of choice as lack of action. Refrain from any action long enough and you'll end up like them. So I either dig for eternity or face practical non-existence for eternity. I can't say I'm overjoyed with either option. What is out there in the desert? There's nothing more. Travel too far and heat becomes so intense you cannot see. If you go too far, you may never come back. I will leave you now to consider and make your choice. I hope that you will choose to dig if you do come back and see me again. If not... If not, I die? I don't know. I don't want to dig forever. I mean, not appear to be any life in them. This is fucked. What is this game? Can I go? If I go too far, I may never come back. Go anyway. After wandering the desert for an interminable amount of time, the heat becomes unbearable and land itself appears to lose. What the fuck? Tree. Tree? Tree. Okay, I guess I'm heading back. Maybe with digging, I can feel some sort of... But if I go out there and dig, maybe that'll give me a purpose and I won't lose my mind. Is it really all there is to do here? The choice we have, either dig, okay. tree, flat rock, and tie them together. Interesting. What about this? Okay, so I have to find a tree that's not too small or not too big. 
What the fuck? Alright, now I need to go grab a rock. So grass is back this way. So if I go grab some grass, I can tie these together and make a shovel. But when I make a shovel, I'll dig. But what after what do I do after I dig? I I mean, you know, I don't know what I do after I dig. Okay. Now I can dig. What happens if I go in here and dig? Too hard. There's no way I can dig through this. I need to find a weaker spot in the cave. How about that area with all the, um, smooth rocks? Too hard still. Okay. Did say the place where you began, right? Don't want to dig up these. Pile of, why don't you want to dig up this pile of rocks? Why not? I don't see any possible way out in this direction. Huh. spot in the cave. The only thing I could think of is um here? No. Weaker spot in the cave. Weaker spot. Huh. Too hard. It says this could be the place to dig. Ah, oh, I just clicked it wrong. Breaks away with a little effort, but I didn't continue with low water. So this is my life. Whether there were no, were the, yeah, there were other choices possible or not, none of this mattered anymore. I had ventured on a path that was now mine. It was bound to me, and I to it. This path was my own, and nothing could change that. I would follow it to the end, and know that I had lived.
Wow. That was... That was beautiful, holy shit. Wow. That was... That was good. That was short, but that was really good. I'll take the path to the end because I chose it, and upon reaching the end, I know that I've lived. That's really powerful. That's really good. Follow your path in life and know that you lived. Wow. Damn. Well, thank you guys so much for watching. This is Abyssal, I guess, signing out. <gasps> oh, there's a shovel. I got an achievement for that. That's interesting. Wait, is there more? No, that's it. Damn. I guess thanks, guys, for watching. Um. Yeah. Don't forget to follow me and stuff on, on my social media stuff and all that. I'll see you guys next time. I hope you enjoyed. I know I did, though. Aside from the one bell puzzle that my girlfriend had to solve for me because I'm an idiot. It was really fun. And the message was fantastic. So yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Peace out. And uh, if you can, remember that message. It's a good message. <laughs>